So in Psalms chapter 106, David is recapping and he's talking about what happened with Phineas and Zimri and Kozabai, amen, in that day because they just brought the sin into the temple. And again, thank God for the cross or there'd be a lot of dead folks in church. In Psalms 106, David continues on and listen to what he says. Verse 35, but were mingled. He's talking about the people. They were mingled among the heathen, the nations, and they learned their works. Verse 36, and they served their idols, which were a snare or a trap unto them. Listen, verse 37, yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. Somebody say abortion. Verse 38, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters. Somebody say abortion. Whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And listen, and the land was polluted with blood. That's why I say America, the beautiful is now America, the bloody. Listen what happens next. He said, thus, verse 39, were they defiled or made unclean with their own works. Listen, and went a whoring with their own inventions. That means they played the harlot by their own deeds, their own inventions, their own opinions. Verse 40, therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people in so much he abhorred his own inheritance. Listen, verse 41, and he gave them into the hand of the heathen, their enemies, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times he did deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. This is biblical proof that as it goes in the womb, so shall it go in the nation. If you kill your children, God will turn a nation who does such over to her enemies. God will step back. He'll lift his hand. In the 60s, a few said, we don't want you in the schools. Now, today, publicly at graduations, his name's not mentioned, though his word's quoted occasionally, as long as it's a good passage. And prayer publicly has been reduced to nothing more than silent meditation. Come on, somebody. Hear Holy Ghost. And people are praying to a God, and I holler out a lot of times, which one are you praying to? I'm talking to to the TV. One day I pray God lets me talk on it. Which God are you praying to to bless America? Because this God of this Bible says if you kill your own children, I will let your enemies kill you. The worst terrorist is not some member of ISIS. The worst terrorist, come on, is politicians who legalize abortion and say it's a woman's right. Come on, somebody. We've terrorized our own babies in the womb. For 43 and a half years, we've sown mass murder in private places of Planned Parenthood with 60 million plus dollars of our tax dollars given to them yearly to kill babies and out back they burn them. The stench of burning baby flesh. Ancient bell worship has been called other names, but it's still alive and well in America. In the last eight years, bell worshipers in America on the left has had a high priest. He's sitting in the Oval Office for the last eight years. And Jezebel wants to get in there now. (laughs) 
And woe unto you, says the Spirit of truth, who support those who live corruption and exalt sin that make their shame their glory who have diverted from my truth and have supported the murder of the innocent unborn woe unto those who support them says the spirit of truth for if you choose leaders of this kind I will hold you equally accountable as I hold those perpetrators themselves. How can you say you know me? Then choose a leader who opposes my word concerning the unborn life. Repent, says the Spirit of the Lord, for your sins have been brought into my temples, into my houses. Many say they know me, but yet they select leaders that offer their own children unto devils. Repent, saith the Lord. For even the sins of those who have said they were mine, who selected such leaders, has been my judgment on this nation. If everyone that names my name, says the Lord, votes in November just on this one biblical moral issue, life of the unborn child, Jezebel won't go to the White House. For everyone that names the name of Christ, because I want the church to know we are just some sleeping little giant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're not the minority. Come on, as the world would have us to think. We are the majority. And I hear the Holy Ghost say, don't you think light of it for one moment? Preacher, you shouldn't preach this way. The government may come after your ministry. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Because when I'm preaching like I'm preaching, I'm prophesying a revival reign because God told Elijah, you've hid yourself. Now go show yourself in 1 Kings 18 and 1 under Ahab, that backslidden leader. Come on, somebody who's a Baal worshiper, whose wife, come on, somebody, is none other than Jezebel, who's a witch. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. He said, go show yourself. Go preach to your leaders. Go preach to your nation and tell them, how long will you hold between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. And if Baal be God, follow him. And just like today, they answered him not a word. God said, if you'll show yourself to Ahab. Somebody shout, it's time for prophets to show themselves. It's time to show out. It's time for saints to show up. If you'll show up in November, come on and just vote righteously on this one issue. Forget about your economy because if the nation keeps sinning, the economy's gonna be cursed. Donald Trump can't fix this uh, if people don't quit this sin and a man of abortion, come on, and somebody don't stand out against it uh, and somebody vote against, come on, anybody hear the Holy Ghost? (laughs) 
America ain't got no skin problem. She's got a sin problem. That's deception. That ain't nothing but deception. All it is is distractions. Somebody said the other day, preacher, what about Trump? I said, well, the Lord himself is going to send from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel with the trump of God. Dead in Christ going to rise first, then we either alive and manger be called him there to be the Lord in the clouds, and so shall we ever be the Lord. First Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. I said, that's the only trump I'm focused on is the trump of God. Hallelujah. We may not even be here in a few days. Come on, somebody. You better get your mind on his return. You better get your heart on his coming. You better stop playing around. Because I'm telling you, when he comes and takes away his church, the judgment of God's going to come on this earth. The wrath of God is going to spill out on this earth like never before. Hear the warning. I'm not here tonight in this revival as it's in its fifth week. It's 20th service. The Lord said tonight, my prophet, don't you whine and dine the saints. Warn them, awaken them. I call my people to mourn. My God, have mercy, Lord, on this day. On this 15th year later, 9-11. 